What's up guys, this is James from Mad Science Films, back again with another video, and today we're talking about a 2009 camera from Canon, uh, the Canon 7D. There we go, nice and focused. Canon 7D in 2022. Any good for video? Let's find out. So in 2009, Canon released the Canon 7D. This is a stills camera mainly, um, quite a fast stills camera. Built very well, built quite professionally, uh, weather sealing and all. So it's got a nice big, chunky, robust body. Um, but this camera, like a few cameras around that time, uh, they were able to record HD video. In 2022, you can pick up the Canon 7D for around 150 to 200 pound. Uh, I bought mine from MPB for 140 odd pound. I think that was because, well, it was because it came with a non-official Canon battery. So I had a bit of discount there, which is cool. But uh, they're relatively affordable cameras. I got mine not for video, mainly for stills, just because I love the whole DSLR look and feel and... Uh, I used to shoot Canon before I got into the Lumix um, ecosystem and I just miss that Canon color science for stills. Um, yeah, so it, it's like a nostalgia thing. So I bought the Canon 7D. Anyway, uh, I got shooting some video because I mainly do video. So I got some shoot, shooting some video with the Canon 7D and I thought to myself, is this a camera for somebody starting out on video? Would this be a camera that somebody would uh, or should think about picking up in 2022. So for some things to note, um, the Canon 7D shoots in HD only. It doesn't go up to 4K, but it shoots 30 frames per second in HD. And you can pick the system, so NTSC or PAL, so you can shoot 25 or 24 frames per second also. It does shoot 60 frames per second NTSC and 50 frames per second PAL, um, but that's at 720p. It also shoots um, VGA resolution, which just don't even fucking bother going there. It's a pile of crap. Um, so HD is your maximum resolution. Now the bit rates for this, I was getting about 45 megabits per second, I think, uh, shooting HD. You can hack the 7D with Magic Lantern. Uh, Magic Lantern is an unofficial firmware for Canon cameras running a Digic 6 processor um, only. But um, many people have a lot of success with it. Uh, I've used it, I've hacked my 7D, and you do get some uh, improve, a lot of improvement with the video quality. Um, but for me personally, it's not something which I enjoy using because the whole workflow is quite, it's quite, um, it's, it's, it's a lot of hassle. You know, you're dealing with raw files, which are quite big, um, and you're capped with a lot of CF cards. And if you want fast CF cards, they get quite expensive, even in 2022. Um, and also you then have to convert these Magic Lantern video files to uh, your choice of format and video codec, which is quite a, a cool thing, like, you know, because it is raw and you can convert that to uh, log uh, video in progress if, if you want to. But again, it's just it's just another avenue to get to um, your sequence. And it's just, for me, it's just a bit too out of the way. Also with the Magic Lantern firmware, I find it very unreliable. Um, sometimes I can shoot for up to a minute or so, and other times I can shoot for less than 20 seconds. So um, you, I would suggest you maybe have a play at your own risk because it's an unofficial firmware, it could break your camera. Um, but if you wanted to take that chance, then have a play with it, see if it works for you. But that's something to consider in regards to improving the um, detail and the bit rate of the HD video coming out with the Canon 7D. Uh, something else to note about the Canon 7D is the fact that you're not gonna get a lot of video tools with this. You're not gonna get any um, focus peaking with this. You're not gonna get any um, scopes of sorts. Um, there's no shutter angle with this. 
and definitely no false codes and things like that. So, but there is a workaround for a lot of these features. I mean, you could invest in a field monitor and connect that up to the Canon 7D. The Canon 7D does come with a um, HDMI mini, if I remember correctly, port. So you can connect a field monitor to the Canon 7D and then you'll have a better understanding of exposure and focus and stuff like that. So um, if you are to consider getting a Canon 7D for shooting video, then definitely a field monitor would be a wise choice. The Canon 7D also has a mic input port, which is fantastic to uh, connecting mics up to. So um, a lavalier mic or a condenser mic or even a external audio recorder. Um, you can definitely get good audio quality with the Canon 7D. A few things that go in the Canon 7D's favor in regards to video is the fact that you do have live view mode, which is very helpful when you're framing a shot and you're adjusting your settings for exposure. You can view all of that in real time uh, at the back of the camera. Also with the Canon 7D, it's quite an affordable camera to have. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, it's a professional body, so quite a robust unit to take around with you. Um, so very affordable camera body, but also with the Canon ecosystem, they have a lot of very good and affordable Canon lenses. So you're quite small for choice in regards to uh, Canon. So when considering perhaps using a Canon 7D for video work, just know that you've got a lot of really good uh, Canon glass available to you, such as the 85mm f1.8 from Canon. This is a quite an uh, inexpensive lens, but it's definitely a focal length, which I enjoy, and a focal length which is... Um, often used by a lot of filmmakers and videographers. And that f1.8 comes in extremely helpful in low light and really helpful then when you're trying to create that kind of cinematic look with the shallow depth of field, coupled in with the fact that it's telephoto as well. So very affordable lenses for the Canon EOF ecosystem. Another good thing about the Canon 7D is the fact you're getting Canon Color Science. Canon Color Science is one of the best in the world. And um, it's something which I've missed. And, you know, a lot of cameras nowadays, such as the Lumix S5, shoot beautiful video. Uh, but Canon, Canon colors are, are very nice and, and, and not to be sniffed at. So you're getting a really nice um, color reproduction and accurate colors with the Canon color science. So that's something definitely to consider when thinking about shooting video with the Canon 7D. So the Canon 7D, would I get one in 2022 for video? Um, well, I bought mine, like I said, for stills, so not necessarily for video. Uh, if you were considering um, buying a camera for video and you wanted to get some paid work, then I perhaps wouldn't go for the Canon 7D. I just don't think the codecs are very good. The HD is quite soft um, and it doesn't... It, it, it's not crisp enough. And I think that if you're not careful with exposure, I think you'll have a hard time correcting that in post-production. So if you definitely, if you're getting paid for, for, for the work, then you, you really don't want to be in that position. Um, for vlogging, I wouldn't get it for any kind of vlogging or talking to camera kind of setups. Uh, you, could, you could make it work, but there's no continuous sort of focus within video and that could be a bit of a nightmare. Also, there's no flip out screen to see yourself, so you'd have to use the field monitor if you plan to see yourself whilst filming. Also, it does weigh quite a bit, so there's not something you really want to carry around with you, particularly doing one arm kind of vlogging selfie things. So um, yeah, for vlogging, YouTube, perhaps not. So what I would suggest the Canon 7D for is for anybody who's more for stills and um, somebody who doesn't mind a bit of weight on their camera body and somebody who likes to travel and do a little bit of video perhaps on their travels. Like I said, it does shoot HD. It does have nice color science, um, albeit it's not the most detailed of videos, but it does create nice video. And I think for anybody that just wants to capture their, um, their travel or their holidays or what have you, then I think that would work out quite nice for them. Also, it's an 18, 18 megapixel camera that shoots stunning still. So, 
Again, it's more for stills and photography than videography, but I think it can shoot some nice video and good enough for travel and any kind of um, expeditions you decide to take the camera with you. But just bear in mind, it does weigh a lot of bit, and obviously Canon lenses are quite big. Um, but yeah, definitely you could use it for that. So that's it from me. Uh, what do you think about the Canon 7D? Would you use it nowadays for any paid work or any serious work? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, do you have a lot of love for the Canon 7D? Do you rock a old Canon camera or perhaps a Nikon camera for video work? Again, hit us up in the comment section down below. Um, so yeah, that's it for me. Please like and subscribe, and until next time, goodbye.